Okay, let's talk about perspective in CorelDRAW. Perspective is, um, the effect perspective is really useful in CorelDRAW and you can use this for a lot of things. Um, you know, you can create a mock-up of your artwork or for your signage and uh, not like before, you can't really do perspective in the earlier versions of CorelDRAW, but now you can do it in the newer version. I think it started with the X8 um, until now. So let's um, just gonna explain about the perspective. So let's try to apply perspective on on a um, on a shape. Let's just say this is the shape. Now uh, perspective is under F not F, objects. It really depends upon my version is 2020, but uh, the, the X8 would probably be different, but you can just find it. So if you click on objects and add perspective, and now when you click on perspective, you're going to have these grids. So this grids um, symbolizes the the perspective. Like you can if, see if I drag this one here, now the grids now converts to kind of like a perspective. Right. So, so that's with the shape. Now let's. I'm gonna go to images and pick an image, and then let's try to apply a perspective on an image. Um, this one sec here. I'm just gonna grab an image here. Okay, so this is a good image here. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this will be my image. Right? Now let's experiment on uh, putting, putting perspective on this one. So we go to objects and click on add perspective. And you notice the behavior is kind of the same. If I go like this. Would go like this perspective really changed and that's a good thing because that's kind of useful just like for example your you know your um, your graphic design on a uh, in a sign shop and say this one is a billboard and you can um, let's get a uh, I'm just gonna get an example here I'm gonna get a, like a billboard um, uh, billboard sign and let's try to okay so this one is a good one here okay I'm gonna copy this one and then I'm gonna paste it here okay so this is actually a good example so if you can't do perspective you can't actually create a mock-up of of your sign in here right but since this one is um, I, can, uh, I believe you can remove object I'm gonna uh, wait, I'm going to I'm going to delete this first and then I'm going to go back and then get the uh, the butterfly image so that we can start from scratch here. OK, so this is the the uh, the image. It's uh, I think it's a PNG. Now, if we say our exact objective is to put this one in the billboard here. So how do we do that? So uh, what I normally do is get one side first, line it up, and then go close to, you know, to the height of the billboard. I know it's an, an I know it's in an angle, but you know, just try your best to to make it the same height. And then if if you're happy with that, then you can go to objects and then add perspective. And then you can, you know, click here and just align that to the billboard. Uh, this is great because it would, you know, for doing mockups, because because it's more realistic if you really can add perspective on to the onto the image. Now. Uh, it's uh, 
it also works with logos. I'm just gonna grab a logo from from again from Google Images here, and let's try to put a an a logo there. Okay, so logo. I'm just gonna get one of the logos here. Let's just say. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm just gonna say. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna pick any logo. Let's just say the Instagram logo. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here. Okay, so the Instagram logo. And what we're going to do is. This one is an image, right? So it's an image, but let's say we're going to make a vector of this image. So I'm going to uh, trace bitmap. So click on trace bitmap and I'm just gonna quick go quick trace. Okay, so that's fine. So now it's, uh, it's a vector image now. So this one, I can delete it. I'm just gonna show you that it works too with vector images. So if you go click on wireframe here, see that's vector. And um, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna ungroup that first and delete this. Okay, and I'm going to group this again. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Of course, right now it doesn't have perspective. Now, if I'm going to add perspective, uh, you can go to objects, same thing, and then add perspective. And then uh, what you you have, what normally you have to do is you have to make this parallel, right? Just to make it more realistic, right? And because uh, the vanishing point is somewhere over here now if you really want to yeah ex be exact you can draw a vanishing point from here to there okay let's let's do it for the sake of uh, clarification so this is the vanishing point i mean that's the first point right and then i'm gonna create another line from here uh, Okay, so it's not quite okay there so this one I have to adjust this until it intersects yeah so this one will intersect this too. perfect so that would be my vanishing point I don't know if that's important but I guess it's important say for example this logo here right so you can grab a you can put a line from here and if you really want to be exact right and then the vanishing point there and then let's create a line again from here to the vanishing point there right so now that would be a more accurate uh, placement of the logo so I'm gonna put my logo here and I'm gonna go to object and then perspective and then I can just grab it and there and this one here like down. there so and then we can just delete all of these lines here yeah so that's uh, that's how to do yeah so now it's more realistic now I mean the the perspective is is right now it's correct with the with the logo Instagram logo so yeah ni so that's good now let's try text um, okay I'm just gonna go um, okay so perspective I'm just gonna get that as a font here okay now too bad we I deleted the <laughs> I deleted the uh, what do you call this the uh, vanishing point but that's okay okay so let's uh, let's make it white and then let's uh, try to get a, a nicer font um, or we just get a simple font like this 
Okay, so for here, um, let's just make it smaller so it will fit the billboard. And then now, if you go to objects and, uh, okay, sorry, here and then objects, add perspective. Now, like the rule is this one should be parallel. And then this one goes down here. go down just gonna move this up a bit and uh, I think that's uh, it's pretty much accurate now yeah not, not, this would be like that yeah but if we did have the vanishing point it's better because then we have a have a guide so yeah that's uh yeah feel free to comment if you or to ask questions in the live chat if you have any questions with perspective so we already we know that it can be done with the graphics i mean with shapes and how about circles that's great circle here it's great a perfect circle like that and then fill it up with say white first and if you click an object and add perspective yeah so it also it also um, oh I see okay you see that you see that see that X mark there that's the vanishing point oh interesting but what I'm doing right now is I'm holding shift and control that's really helpful because then you know you can um, you can find the vanishing point so if I draw a line from here oh it's gone the only thing it's gone right so I'm not sure now if I add perspective again now it's different anyway sorry just forget what I've said <laughs> Okay, so uh, now what else can we do with perspective? Um, I would say perspective and also the, um, the uh, what do you call this, envelope would also be a good, a good um, combination. Uh, for the envelope, um, I'm just going to... Uh, gonna get an example here for envelope so for I'm just copying objects here and say for example for the envelope okay so for example here uh, okay I just you know I'm gonna copy this one I just wish we can remove the perspective Right, because right now, if I want to go back to the normal picture, I don't want to like, like even here, if we click on this one, the add perspective is not no longer there anymore. But if I go like this, oh, if you click on the shape tool, then you can adjust the perspective. But what if I want to remove the perspective? Right? So... Okay, let me try this one, clear transformation. Perfect. So clear transformation will do the trick, okay? So again, if, if um, say for example here, I'm gonna copy this one, okay? Um, so if you wanna go back to the original, like no perspective image, you go to objects and then clear transformation there. That's a handy tool because, say, for example, you know, you want to go back to the original one because you're uh, okay. So, so I'm I'm creating a mock-up here of this, and um, let's do a combination of envelope and uh, perspective. 
So here, I mean, if I'm making a mock-up here, I can't just give them this one and because this this one this one is not right. I have to have a yeah, at least you know a curve here. So um, let's do it this way. So I'm going to move this here first, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a shape. So I'm going to create an ellipse first, which is here. Okay, see that's my ellipse. I'm just going to... So what I'm doing now is I'm just creating a um, plus sign on my keyboard here. I'm going to make like a, like a shape for me to envelope. So here I'm just going to click on freehand here. Let's just say I'm going to put my image there and also here. Okay. Okay. So I know it looks like, you know, I, it doesn't look right, but for me, this is how I do it because then I can do smart fill, smart fill there, right? And then I can delete this one because that's the shape that I want to put the uh, the butterfly image. So I can delete that. And then the problem is this one, right? If you click on this one, select this and hold down shift and click the second one and you can just like weld and that's it. So, I mean, I'm still not happy with this. I'm probably just fix this some more. Uh, I would move this down a bit. Okay, so for just tutorial purposes, uh, let's let's just say that this is fine. Okay, so now we're gonna do envelope. So click on the image, and then click on objects. Uh, no, sorry, effects, and then we go envelope, and then a dial box will show up here, and then I think you have to click on add new, and then you're going to say this is the one that you wanted right and then um, sorry totally forgot how to do this anyway so this oh it's an envelope already okay so click here and then right mouse click sorry because <laughs> this normally should go here but then I have this already, horizontal, original. Okay, so this one here, I want this to be the shape. What if I drag it inside? No, nope, I can't. So, oh, create envelope from. Okay, so click this, Oops, click this, and then create envelope from. And there's an arrow, and then click here. No, it didn't work. Okay, let's do it this way. Or maybe it doesn't work with images. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try to create a square, make that green. And then I'm going to create envelope from, and then click, click on this. Okay, so if you take a look, that, that worked, right? So I'm not sure why it doesn't do with the, with the image. Well, what if I convert the image to a curve? I can't. Or maybe I... Okay. Or maybe I already... Okay, so anyway, if I, if I can't do that, I can always put it here. And then... Uh, I can always, like... Let's try to... Let's try to add perspective here. Sorry. Um, sorry about this, guys, because this is like a, a live. So uh, if I click this, I know I've done this before with an image. Um, this is my envelope, add new, 
So we're clicking this one. I don't have it. Oh, okay. So maybe if I power clip this first, so click this and then I'll power clip and then place inside a frame. Okay, click this one which is the image and then object and then power clip place inside the container and then it's this one and then oh I got it and then go to create envelope from click this it doesn't do it it doesn't do it okay let's just leave that there and then we will uh, I'll just see what I can change for that. Okay, let's go back to perspective here. So, so yeah, so perspective. So any questions with perspective, just uh, type it into the chat. And uh, yeah, so perspective, I like perspective. Well, you can also for packaging too. So if I, uh, if I search for a package, packaging here. Say for example, you're designing a, a package and um, I'm just gonna get a, an image here. Uh, okay, so this, okay, I'm just gonna get this image here. Okay. Okay, so that's an image. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick an image here uh, from my downloads. Okay, I've got this and date modified. Okay. Okay, it didn't work. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so say this is your package, right? And then with the with the perspective tool, um, this is a bit not yet. So with the perspective tool, this is very handy. Uh, say for example, I'm gonna put my. Um, the image here so I click an object add perspective and I go like this right okay and uh, say say you have another image I'm just gonna duplicate this and then I'm going to clear transformation and then I'm going to uh, add perspective so the perspective goes here I think it's helpful if you go to view and then click on snap to objects so it would just snap to yeah so it snaps to there and then also snaps here oh, see how the image was distorted and move it there yeah so see see what i mean so yeah so that's uh that's good for packaging too so anyway um i think that's it for perspective and uh, uh thank you for attending this live session and uh, so sorry for some of the glitches there that I wasn't able to fix but this is live and yeah if you don't have any questions okay there's a question here yeah okay so Nicole saying that never knew the perspective option uh, yes but you have to be careful because I know X7 doesn't have perspective and lower than x7 doesn't have perspective 
I know I think it started with X8, but well, when when perspective um, uh, the option was was launched and and the X8, I was so excited about it because that's what that's what we really need as a graphic designer, especially when we're doing mockups. Yeah, so um, so uh, I hope you you um, you learned something in my tutorials, and um, and I will see you next time. Bye.